successful. Everyone often says, oh, Mike, you're doing such great murals, but they're not, it's not my mural, it's, it's ours. Anyone who picked up a brush to paint part of it or to give input, it's theirs. You know, I had gone to Maryland Institute in Baltimore and got my MFA. The whole process of that was learning to make your own personal work. And at that same time, I had, a friend of mine had taken me on a mural tour of Philadelphia and I had seen there how putting art in these neighborhoods and letting the people who live in those neighborhoods give input into what their murals would be that empowered the people, it brought beauty to the neighborhoods, and then in turn, the people began caring more about where they lived. I saw, you know, really sort of neglected neighborhoods in Reading, and I thought, well, we can have the same thing here. There'll be a lot of naysayers that show up and say, oh, it's really nice what you're trying to do here, and we've had people try this before, but it doesn't work. Then I'll have the other end where people are like, oh, wow, this is cool. And then they'll show up the next day with their ladder and spend the whole day painting and then, you know, you know, talking with all their neighbors about how much fun it is to work on this project. Everyone always says, well, do you put graffiti proofing on these projects? And I'm like, the, the way they're made is the graffiti proofing because the, you know, a large part of the community has had a part in making it or they have you know in some way endorsed endorsed it the designing is can be really stressful cuz you're kind of negotiating terms with all these different players you know when i make my own personal work it was like i have absolute control over everything where i start these projects and i have no idea what they're going to look like i may have a, a bit of you know, a little bit of a theme that I'm working with, but it's all what people share with me, all the contributors to it, and that's, that steers me towards the end result. People have voiced their opinions on these projects that, that they can, you know, they can be cliche, and I, and I really, that's the other thing I kind of struggle with, is that, that idea of design by committee, because I want them to have you know, artistic integrity to them. I guess when it comes time to the, for the final design, I make that call. I can kind of set up a structure that allows the kids to have elements that they are, they are designing and expressing themselves. With this one, the title of it is Why We Came. So the kids wrote, you know, why did they end up in Reading? And you know, some of them are very happy reasons, some of them are heartbreaking reasons. You know, they say 15 years is a good lifespan till, till you begin to see colors changing. And I feel like that's, that's a good amount of time to live with something. I want them to fade in time, but I don't wanna worry about repainting things. I would sooner make a new image and paint over that in 20 years or someone else will be doing that in 20 years, hopefully. I, I miss doing my own personal work, but I feel this work is more gratifying because I know it, it's, it's bringing more to, to everyone else, where I felt like the, the gallery work satisfied me and, and people who saw it enjoyed it, but that's kind of where, where it ended. Uh, where this, I feel, continues to grow and, and can really sort of change people in, in larger ways.